So this is um, uh, section seven, final section, and it is about optimization. So here's problem twenty. Probably problem twenty asks us to. Um, it asks uh, that a rancher has a two hundred feet of fencing and he wants to enclose two rectangular corrals, and we have to find the dimensions that enclose the area with the, that it'll make a maximum. So that these two corrals have the maximum area when we use 200 fencing. So here uh, I've mapped everything out that we do all map on all the optimization problems. So it, uh, you're learning pretty much the steps. And um, what happens is first you want to always draw the problem so you understand what you're looking at. So here we have two corrals, and um, here's x and x. And you know if we like took the perimeter, it'd be 2x, uh, and then y, and, and it it's pretty simple. And, but we also have to consider that where it's, uh, there's a middle part of the corral. So after you draw the problem to understand what you're looking at, then you do the things that you know. You know that we have 200 feet of fencing, and that's the perimeter. Well, that's plus the middle bar of fencing. And then, so we have to set it to the problem of, you know, we have four sides, four X's that we have to cover, and also three Y. So that's what we know. Now we have to determine what we're going to, um, uh, what, what, what's going to change and that's the area that we're trying to maximize we know the area of the square and we just applied it to this so it's uh, we have two x's that cover one side two x times y so this is we have to determine the formula for the thing that is changing and that's the area and we want to only have one variable so we figured out just x so now we're going to apply the um the just x1 variable into it and we're taking the 200 minus 3y over 4 and putting it into the x so now that we only have just y in the area and simplified out and this is the simplified version 400y minus 6y squared over 4 now that we have area all by itself though we have to take the derivative of the thing that's changing so that we can have a rate of change uh, not the rate of change, but just so that we're able to like maximize it, and because we want to get to the point of uh, critical points, because that's how we maximize um, functions. Um, that's how like we learned at the very beginning. So we take the derivative of the area, and we get, and then we take put one fourth out the side, and so we only take uh, we're taking the derivative of um, 400 y minus 6 y squared, so we get 400 400 minus 12 y. And we simplify it, and it's 100 minus 3y. And that is the slope of the function. But with that slope, we can um, find the critical points, which are like the interesting points, like the maximum, minimum, and we can use those to figure out um, where is the optimal space. Because that's our entire goal, is to get to the point where we can find this critical point for one variable, for the one part, and that maximizes it, and then find the other. So we figured it out, set it to zero, um, it's y equals 100 over 3. We plug it back in at the very end, so then we get x equals 25, so that this, each sides of uh, the corral are 100 over 3, and each x side, which is uh, these, are 25, so that we've optimized the area. Um, problem 23. Uh, so this problem is asking us to yeah, it's asking about a Norman window, and it's we're constructing a it's a semicircle on top of a ordinary rectangular, and we have to find the dimensions to maximize the area with a total perimeter of 16. So first we draw the problem, and then we um we figure out the perimeter, and since this is only a half circle, we only have to do a pi squared, um, not two pi r or not pi r sorry <laughs> pi r, since it's only a semicircle. And then for the um, the perimeter of the other part, we only have to do 2y plus x, because we already have that side. So um, it, the perimeter equals pi r plus 2y plus x. And that's the things that we know. And we also know that we can plug in 16, because that is our um, this area, or the perimeter that we're going to be using. And we can also begin to replace, so we only have one variable, and so we can replace r and the r is the radius so we can use 2r to equal 1x because 1x is a full side r is half so we can plug in r so now we only have y left and now we can begin to 
uh, determine the formula for the area to maximize the area. So the area is, you know, um, of the square x times y and then plus pi r squared over half or f and if, because it's only a semicircle. And then we begin to plug in other stuff. We know x is 2r and then we can figure out that y is um, uh, 16 minus 2r over, or I mean, 16 minus 2r minus pi r over 2. And we add the end and then now it's just beginning to substitute and simplify everything in there so that we have a smaller function. And then we have 32r over um, 32r minus 4r squared minus 2 pi r squared minus plus well, pi r squared. And we can just keep simplifying until we get to uh, this simplified version. And then we can take the derivative in order to find the maximization of the critical points. And then once we figure out the area or the derivative, which is this, we move on to um, setting it to zero, finding the critical points. And after we uh, simplify, we get to r equals 32, 8, or even more simple, even simpler, 16 over 4 plus pi is r. And then we can um, go back and we know what uh, x is related to r, so we just have to multiply it by 2. And then we also know, we can also plug in um, what y is by plugging it into one of the very first functions that we did. And so we get all three of the, um, the variables that are part of the function that make up uh, the normal window, the r, the x, and the y. And then last but not least, we have 33. So 33 is a rectangular package that you're sending through mail. And we have to uh, have a maximum combined length and girth, which is just you know the all these x's together, um, of just one side, uh, of only 180 inches, and we have to maximize the volume. So we know that the, what the perimeter of what we're trying to um, ma uh, maximize to 108 is 4x plus y, and then we also know that we can plug in 108 because that's the perimeter that we're keeping in mind and. We can um we can then uh, no we know the volume of a uh, rectangular figure, and it is base time height time width. But in this case, uh, base or height or width or however you like to look at it is the uh, same variable. So we can do x squared. We figure out y, what it equals, so that we can begin to uh, just have one variable. That's what we want, one variable. Then we plug um then we begin to simplify it out so that we get. Uh, 108x squared minus 4x to the third. Now we have to determine um, the whole uh, the derivative, and we get two um, or x uh, multiplied by 2 16 minus 12x, and that we will use to set to zero. And we figure out we get two x's. We get x equals zero and x equals 18. Obviously, the x equals zero is irrelevant because we want to the solid to actually have um, a volume. So we t choose the x equals 18, we plug it back into the for this formula to get y, and we get the y is equal to 36, so that we get 18 and 36 is our maximized um, variables for determining the volume and the shape of the solid. So that is optimization. Hope that helped.